This video will demonstrate how to place SitePlate connection families into your existing Revit project. To utilize SitePlate connection families, you must obtain the Revit families directly from SitePlate systems. The SitePlate connection families are compatible with Revit versions 2015 and newer. It is best to place the SitePlate connection family in a plan view. To load the families, go to the Insert tab and select Load Family. Navigate to the saved location of the SitePlate connection families that were provided by SitePlate Systems. For this demonstration, we will use the SitePlate bolted SMF, A-type, and B-type configurations, as well as the SitePlate connection tag. All three families can be loaded at one time. To place a SitePlate connection family, go to the Structure tab and select Component. All of the different A-type and B-type connections that are available are shown in the Properties window. B-type connections are for two-sided moment frame connections, and A-type connections are for single-sided moment frame connections. The appropriate connection type can be selected first before placing the side plate connection family, or the connection type can be changed after the family is placed. The snapping points of the side plate connection family are set to the center lines of the column. The connection can be rotated or flipped as needed after it has been placed. In plan view, the side plate connection is represented by two solid black lines. The hatched rectangle represents the beam protected zone. The protected zone is only applicable to high seismic projects that necessitate a special moment frame connection. The location and dimension of the protected zone are accurate if the appropriate connection ID type and column size have been chosen in the properties window. To change the column size, select the family and type in the desired column size in the properties window. The protected zone can be toggled on and off as desired. Sideplate connection families can be easily placed, manipulated, and copied. The connection type can be changed after the family has already been placed. The connection ID tags can be shown for each SitePlate connection. Go to the Annotate tab and select Tag All. Highlight Structural Connection Tags SitePlate Connection Tag and select Apply. The tags can be moved and rotated as needed. The connection ID will change as the connection type is changed. The side plate connections and ID tags can also be shown in elevation view. Once the families have been placed in plan view, the tags can be applied in elevation view. The tags can be moved and changed the same as in plan view. The side plate SMF field bolted connection is shown for this tutorial and in this elevation. The site plate connection used on your project may differ. We hope this video was helpful in showing you how simple it is to incorporate site plate into your Revit model. For more information regarding the site plate connection families, please contact site plate systems at 949-238-8900 or contact your local site plate representative.